drone footage revealed that construction on Saudi Arabia's line actually started. The project has been heavily debated in recent months and most said that it's too gigantic to build and rather looks like something out of a science fiction movie. But now that construction has actually begun, how will this turn out? Could this be the beginning of the world's greatest mega project ever? Or will the line become a trillion dollar construction mistake that will eventually be abandoned? Let's find out. Saudi Arabia's plans to build a $1 trillion line skyscraper city in the desert. Saudi Arabia's list of plans to shock humanity is certainly not ending till Prince Mohammed bin Salman is in power. The country has announced many projects, including new luxurious cities and skyscrapers meant to outclass the Burj Khalifa. Saudi Arabia is currently trying to implement what they dub Vision 2030 as a roadmap for sustainable development and economic growth by next decade for the kingdom's long-term economic success. The Saudi Arabian vision of 2030 includes several objectives and reform strategies such as reducing subsidies, establishing a sovereign wealth fund allowing private investment in Saudi Aramco through a partial IPL and reforming several sectors including tourism and defense. Division is based on three central tenets, a flourishing economy, a dynamic society and an ambitious nation. Construction of the line actually begins. On the 19th of October 2022, drone footage of the construction site was revealed by OT Sky. The video shows dozens of excavators digging trenches along the desert, which will form the foundation of the line, according to the drone footage. The excavation already leads very far inland. It's hard to say how far it exactly goes, but they could be close to the mountains in the background. According to the official map on Naom's website, the line starts at this bay and cuts through these mountains. Because of the terrain and since the sea is visible in the background, the footage was probably taken somewhere here, so the excavations might already be 10-20 kilometers long. On top of that, more infrastructure is being built around the whole project. On Google Maps, there are multiple developments visible. There is a whole site with offices and camps close to the mountains, a Neom community with a football field and swimming pools, and a Neom experience center. Since these images aren't up to date, there are probably a lot more by now. So now that construction has really started, how could this turn out? There is nothing comparable to this in the whole world, so we can only speculate what will happen next. What will happen to the line? Scenario 1, but we can say that there are basically three possible outcomes. The first possibility is that construction on the line will come to a halt in a few months or even years without any people moving in, similar to the Jeddah Tower or the Dubai Creek Tower. It could turn into a project where its construction status remains unclear. In both cases, stunning renderings were shown and great promises were made. Construction was started and it looked like the buildings would actually be finished. But then everything came to a halt and no progress has been made since. However, this seems to be a less likely outcome for the line since it is backed by an entire country and received massive attention from the whole world. Getting the project even close to completion could be a great opportunity to bring more tourists and investors to Saudi Arabia. What will while happen to the line? Scenario 2 The second scenario is that Saudi Arabia heavily invests in their current plans and that over the next decades the country really achieves what it promised in its trailers. Implementing certain features could definitely be possible, like having no cars, gen 100 renewable energy and implementing the idea of vertical living. However, when it comes to the sheer size of the project, it just seems to be undoable. We mentioned earlier that the line is supposed to have a similar height as the One World Trade Center, which took around eight years to complete. While that's still a reasonable time frame, Saudi Arabia wants to build a structure of similar height, but 170 kilometers in length. This would essentially be like building a continuous strip of 2001 World Trade Centers. And since the project contains two of these lines, it would actually be like building 4,000 of them, simply multiplied by eight years each. We would end up at 32,000 years. Of course, Saudi Arabia would build them much faster since they could start working on multiple parts at once, but it illustrates the scale quite well. Essentially, it would be a task for centuries. To give you another idea, around 40,000 workers constructed the Three Gorges Dam in China, an 
and it took them 17 years, but with a height of just 180 meters and a length of merely 2.3 kilometers, it's tiny compared to the line. But what will happen to the line? Scenario 3. But there is a third possible outcome, given that they have already started construction. There might be a compromise. At the start, we asked if this could be the greatest mega project humanity has ever seen or a trillion dollar construction mistake. But maybe there is another option. Like many of you in the comments of our last video already said, Saudi Arabia could build it, but not at the insane lengths they envisioned. The line is built as five minute walk segments. So they could essentially build the whole mega project bit by bit. Depending on the demand, they could simply extend the length when needed. In addition, the height of the line could be adjusted, making the project much more realistic and easier to build with half of the height. The whole concept of vertical living remains the same and all of the features could still be implemented. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more future updates. Thanks for watching.